Okay, uh, so this is um, another car I searched for, found, inspected, and recommended for uh, a client that paid me to get the vehicle for him. So, um, yeah, this is a Pojo 307 station wagon. And yes, this is a Nigerian used one. Um, like I said, uh, this picture, I've uh, detailed it with this quality, so I won't really do justice to the true condition of the car body and the paint. So, yeah. Um, um, it has a manual transmission, RG4, um, fabric interior, the rest. Others. Then this is the engine TU5 JP4. So, so the car, um, what was that? Um, forgotten, but uh, it was this year, sometime this year. So you can see, um, the person is enjoying the car, of course. Oh, like I said, uh, I just tell people even before payment, okay. These are likely things you will spend money to do repair or do some preventative maintenance, you know, stuff like that. So we've done that. I was actively involved. I've done all those things, um, or quite a number, of, uh, basically all. So the guy is enjoying the car now. And, um, you know, I'm always involved as anything. I guess uh, he always call, send me a message, and uh, I will explain. Uh, sometimes it won't even be any issue, just that, uh, you know, when somebody is new to a brand or doesn't understand the system, I think it's an issue. So, yeah, so you too can also enjoy your Pojo car or you have a mind to buy a particular Pojo model or you need a, an expert advice. You know, it's something I'm very good at. You know, I always guide you and tell you, see, this is it. I don't cut corners. I don't try to I'll explain how to go about it. You know, I'll, like I say, I'll I, I'll go with my test. I'm not going to tell you uh, if you have a particular transmission in mind or you have a, an engine you want in mind, a particular model in mind, and uh, um, I'm not going to stop you from doing that. I will only, you know, lay the cards. For you in terms of uh, the pros, the cons, and uh, how even with the cons, how you can go about it without uh, having those issues or experiencing most of those cons, or how you can prevent them from happening, or stuff like that, or you can live with them and still be happy with the vehicle. You know, so these are the things I do. I won't tell you don't buy a manual, or don't buy automatic. You know, I'll just go with what you find attractive or interesting in the car you are interested in, you are considering to buy. You know, I advise you on that, not to discourage you from that. Because no matter what, every car has its own pros and cons. You know, so, but in terms of the condition of the vehicle, no, it's my test. You know, I just tell people that it doesn't matter if. It has to be my test. Even though you are the one buying, making the paper, it has to be my test. My test in terms of, so that I won't have issue. How the body of the car is, the interior, the related cars, the, the mechanical is usually a secondary to me. I honestly don't care much about all those things. The engine, the gearbox, I zero, I zero. It's the least things I check when I'm inspecting vehicles. You know, you can only change those things and uh, enjoy your car. Uh, so those are not usually my concern. You see, what gives people headache, nightmare, you know, make them have a, um, bias remorse or regrets, uh, all those things are like the body, the electric cars, you know, interior. You know, the interior can be fixed, but you know, it can consume so much. Or uh, little depending, you know, there are things you can 
easily fixed and some that will take a whole lot of time the car will be staying at the workshop for weeks months trying to figure out and stuff like that so i try to get a car that the owners uh, clients will not go through all those headaches you know unless the person wants a project vehicle then it's a different thing you know so so yeah so these are a few these are a few ones i know i've gotten for recommended for people that paid the, that pre-purchase inspection and uh gotten the and eventually ended up getting these vehicles uh this year so far i don't know probably i may have other ones this year. i've gotten for people this year at least these ones i'm showing you are among the ones i and I see all the pictures. So if I'm interested, I I charge thirty thousand naira for now. What what today's date? Uh, that's thirteenth June twenty twenty one. So that's it. So you know, I expect if you call me probably tomorrow next, and the price and change, you you start referring to this video that I said it was this price. So it can change any time. So that's what I charge. If you want a non-abused vehicle, you enjoy a Pojo vehicle and you know what to do, contact me. My number is usually on uh, all my video uh, descriptions or even on the what's it called? Uh, comment section. Also, my email is also there. So you can always contact me and they will talk. I'll give you my list of conditions and if you're okay with that then you make the payment then the search will I'll provide the service for you so like i said it's not just buying the vehicle or recommending a vehicle after the purchase it ends no it doesn't end the services continues you know whenever you have issue or need the explanation or an advice on project you know everything you still there one thing I know for sure, all the people that have paid, I mean, for years now, that have been paying for these uh, services to me, they always end up not contacting me anymore after a while. Because by that time, they would have uh, learned all these things. I would help to guide them, do all the explanation. They will pick it up on their, by themselves and even start buying their own, uh, you know, cars more um, without even contacting me anymore. Because, you know, they realize these things are not rocket science, you know, um, and so they can be able to get the uh, the cars and do the inspection themselves. So that's uh, the advantage of paying that uh, money, people chase inspection and consultant services. So if you have, even those cars are involved, if there's any repair and the car is in a butcher or anything, yes, I get involved. Um, unless the client doesn't uh, necessarily want me to do that. If you contact me, yes, I'll make a time to be involved with the repairs or diagnosis. Sometimes I do it myself. Uh, it's not uh, like they are not going to pay for that diagnosis or the labor, but I will be involved so that uh, the car will not be messed up or abused in the process of diagnosing or repairing, which is what most people in Nigeria suffer from. Is the the kill the vehicle doing the repairs or doing the diagnosis? But when I'm there, I will not allow such thing. Of course, if I'm doing it myself, of course it will never happen. So, but if you, you know, because some people listen to sometimes when I tell them this that they, if when it comes to repairs, I don't do it. If you're not, if you didn't pay for that consultant services or people just they get offended. You know, it's how I work. This is my own condition. I. I mean, you are not entitled to <laughs> what I have to offer. You know, I have my condition if you to do certain things when it comes to auto industry. So if that condition doesn't meet, you find somebody here. You don't need to start demanding as if I'm your slave. I'm not your slave. You know, I get to choose this how I want to run this business. So it's up to you. If you are not comfortable with it, there will always be somebody else that his own condition favors you. I need to start demanding and you know I don't have time for bullshit that's the thing so most time when people call and start making such things I simply block them I don't have that time uh, so that's the thing uh, so I hope um, this video uh, probably has um, explained in details uh, some of the things I do 
for people who are interested in non-abuse or getting non-abuse pojo vehicles or contacting me privately for pojo uh, expert advice you know when they seek a professional they want a professional advice or how to go about or how to keep maintaining their cars yeah you can pay me i'll be doing that privately um, you know that's if you, are, if you are not ready to pay don't don't call i do videos post them for free you know advice sometimes i do it without even any payment from anybody giving solutions advising people on how to maintain their cars and stuff like that they are for free online articles videos so many of them so if those ones are not enough you want a private chat or private consultation with me you have to be willing to pay if you are not willing to pay then i don't know don't claim i'm being rude to you because you chose you you just looking for some a trouble and i'm kind of man that doesn't take bullshit or nonsense so i'm just telling you people that you know, so that's it.